Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to do a highly requested recipe for you guys. You guys wanted me to make Jamaican rum punch in my kitchen. I'm going to finally make it guys. It's here. So if you want to see how I whip up this rum punch, you'll have to hold on and let's go with this. Come on, let's go. Okay guys, this rum punch recipe is really, really, really simple, okay? Like as always, I always do everything in my kitchen. Simple, fast, and easy, and tasting good. You are going to need one orange sliced thinly, okay? So you definitely need that. You are also going to need some pimento seeds. You're going to need a half cup of lemon juice. And that is equivalent of four lemon or lime. Okay guys, let me go over your alcohol part of the recipe. Now, these are the ones that I'm using in my rum punch. If you don't want to use these, if these are not something that you like, you could always substitute this. If you like Jamaican white rum, you could put that. If you like brandy, you could also put it. Vodka, you could put it. Anything of your choice, but make sure when you're doing this, you want to make sure you had some coconut rum, some kind of a coconut flavored rum in it. And the rum that I'm using, this one is a coconut rum, and this is a Calypso brand. And it's pretty good, right? And this is going to kick it up a nice notch. I'm also going to add my Jamaican Appleton white rum. So this, I substitute this instead of using the Jamaican white rum because the Ray and Neville brand because it's really, really strong. I don't want it extremely strong. This is strong as well but not as overly strong as the Jamaican Ray and Navy white rum so you can use this one I'm also going to use some Malibu in there this is coconut as well but it has strawberry flavor so this is pretty good so I'm going to use this one and they have a whole lot of these on the shelf but you choose which one that you want I'm going to add a little bit of wine to this and you could have any kind of wine of your when I'm making it, I always use pineapple and orange juice in mine. If you don't want to use this brand, right? You could use pineapple juice separate. You could use orange juice separate. Or, if you like, just grab you a box of any kind of a juice. A tropical punch. Anything that says fruit punch, you could use that. Alright? Just to go easy and fast. Just grab you a box of anything that says fruit punch on it so let's put this together okay guys now the first thing that I do when I'm making my rum punch is to put my liquor in okay so I'm going to add um, a half a cup of all of the different types of liquor that I have here if you don't want it this strong you don't have to have that much okay so I'm going to add a half a cup of the Appleton white rum so I go ahead and put that in. That's a half a cup. I'm also going to add a half a cup of the coconut rum. And once again, guys, like I said, you could use any one of your choice. There's a whole bunch of different white rum and coconut flavor on the shelf. So I'm going to use that as a half a cup as well. I'm also going to add my Malibu. And I'm going to put a half a cup in here as well. Also going to add my wine to that and I'm going to put a half a cup here as well. Now you want to go ahead and add your orange juice and that's a half a cup. You want to add your pimento seeds as well. I'm also going to add my, my syrup and this is um, strawberry flavor. So I've had a half a cup in here. And guys, if you want to add a cup in there, you could add a cup. You don't want to make it too overly sweet though. And the next thing I'm going to do is add my juice in here. Now you want to give this a little stir. 
and now is the perfect time to give it that taste test because you want to know if it's strong enough right so you go ahead and give it your taste test I'm not even going to taste mine because I know I don't want it any stronger than this so that is pretty good already then the last thing you're going to do guys is put your oranges in here and this is one orange sliced very very thin so that's it right there all done let me zoom that in so you guys could see it a little closer that's how simple this drink is okay so what I'm going to do I'm gonna let this I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator just like this and I'm going to let it sit for at least at least a good 45 minutes because I want the pimento seed to start flavoring up the liquid so in 45 minutes I'm going to go ahead and set up a glass for you guys and I'm going to let you guys see how I do this uh, when I get ready to drink so there you have it guys rum punch Jamaican rum punch in my kitchen and I will and I will see you back in a few minutes there you have it guys I'm all done Jamaican rum punch in my kitchen fast easy and recipe don't forget to give this recipe a thumbs up and like and subscribe share 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 let me know what you like to see me cooking next and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy